Well, way back when, before I was born, there was projectors the size of small cars. Okay, maybe a small toaster. But anyways, they were big and bulky. But now, we live in the 21st century, and we got these little units that fit in the palm of our hands. But hopefully, these units have better quality than the early days, where it showed this guy basically eating a sandwich and his stomach growing as he's eating. Yep, that's in real time. Alright, so today, we'll be looking at this new 1080p projector. This runs on Android. And it has some unique features like having ability to go up to 200 inches in screen size. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. And we'll take a look at this new 1080p Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector that runs on Android 9.0. Has a bunch of accessories. Now keep in mind, I did pre-open this box up. I couldn't wait. I had to try this out. So I do apologize. The packaging wasn't this messy. But you get the gif of what's included. You got the projector. You got the remote control. You got the power adapter. So take a look at this guy. This is pretty nice. This is a brushed aluminum, so it gives a nice feel. I do like the orange carrying handle, and it does have stereo speakers. So you can look at the specifications here, and you can mount it to a tripod, and it weighs about maybe half a pound or so. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the interface here. Now, I do apologize for the background noise. I did purposely put my camera next to the unit, so you guys can hear how loud the fan is. It's not a huge deal if you have an external device, like this. Bluetooth speaker so it kind of drowns out the noise but you can definitely hear the fan as it's running. Alright so this interface is pretty nice. It does run on Android 9.0 and it has one gigabyte of RAM and a quad core processor so it's sufficient to run all your applications like Netflix, you got Prime Video, Hulu, Spotify and of course you can use a smartphone and use Mirrorcast if your smartphone supports it. Okay so let's talk about this interface. Up in the top left corner here you have our AV sources you do have a HDMI port, so this allows you to hook up a game system, or if you use your computer, make an external monitor. Also has a Type A USB port, so if you have photos, videos on a flash drive, it's great for that. Now you also have a 3.5mm headphone jack, so you can listen to your headphones, private listening, or you can hook up to an external speaker, or you can use Bluetooth. Alright, so my applications allows you to jump into everything that's installed on a projector. You can see I have a bunch of applications, Spotify, uh, YouTube TV, HBO Max, Hulu, uh, AU Screen. Not sure what that is, but I have a multimedia player, etc, etc. Alright, let's go and jump back into here. So, I found like the navigation is pretty easy. This remote control has a pretty nice layout. has your directional control panel right here. You also have your power. You can uh, do your media functions right here, play, pause, change the channel, change the volume right here. Alright, let's just jump into the YouTube app. I have it connected to my account and I kind of show you what the video quality looks like. And it's auto play the last video I have. It might turn out to be completely wrong. On this episode of Kim's Rude Awakenings. I know you're gonna be upset. Good! Habitual hoarding has made this house any yeah, so I've definitely been on a hoarding binge. I guess people like to haul everything, but hopefully my house isn't too bad. Alright, so yes, you have Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu. So let's just jump into the settings real quick. I'll kind of show you that. So you have projector settings. Uh, you can actually uh, figure out how it's mounted. Right now I have it on a tripod, but you can mount it upside down. Maybe if you want to do a permanent setup, or if you just want to take it around, you can do that as well. But it gives you a bunch of options there. You also have a zoom. So I could zoom in and out, make it a little bit smaller there. What you got? Oh, I can make it a little bit better. As you can see, as I'm zooming, it's kind of offset. So I can do auto key Sony as well. And it does have a uh, gyro and accelerometer to help with that. Now, let's show you one thing I did when I hooked up a Bluetooth keyboard. You can get these keyboards for about uh, $20 on Amazon. They're great because if you have a smart projector, instead of having to uh, manually scroll across each key, you can just use the keyboard to put something in. Great for searching movies. Uh, also, there's a little touchpad. You can see the little mouse cursor. So it uh, looks great. I like this little keyboard. So let's just jump back into here. And I can find it. it's pretty uh, responsive. Works well. So you have language, you have date settings, you have more, let's check out more here. Uh, you have food options, power standby, uh, sound on press, battery reset, uh, very nice. Let's just jump back into here. One more time, and about, let's check out that. So here's everything you need to know about the device. 
So it looks like we have about 9.9 .9 gigabytes of ROM and we have 294 megabytes of memory, uh, 3 gigabytes of memory. Yep, and it's a total system memory 16 kilobytes right there, or gigabytes, sorry. So there you go, that's everything you need to know. Okay, so overall, this is a pretty nice projector. I found it's pretty useful for like if you're going camping. Uh, I like the carry handle. And yes, the device is pretty sturdy. It is actually made out of metal, aluminum. So it gives a nice uh, premium feel. Now let's talk about the downsides. I kind of wish there was a built-in lens cover or some type of way to protect the lens. Especially if you're carrying around, definitely don't want the lens to get scratched up. And it's a pretty large area for something to get inside the lens. Okay, so I kind of wish there was a battery as well. This device does require a power source, so you might have to bring up extra power pack or just bring a 12 volt cigarette adapter and you should be good to go if you plan on camping or going somewhere without a power source. Okay, so uh, thanks so much uh, for watching and this is a cool projector. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below. So be safe out there. Uh, happy holidays and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.